Good Thursday morning. It is our letter from home, which is usually started by Pastor John, but he is on vacation this week and next. So be, please be praying for he and Shelly as they are getting some um, time to rest and relax. And so pray for that. Um, this Sunday in Pastor John's absence, uh, Pastor Jared will be preaching and he will also preach next week as well. So we're looking forward to that and hope you are as well. Please be praying for him. Um, Celebration Sunday is coming, May 2nd, and we are, st we are going to have a baptism. So if you are interested in doing that, please contact us at the church office and that will get to me and I will contact you to tell you what you need to do if you'd like to be baptized as well. Mother's Day is coming. We will have a uh, um, parent-child dedication. And again, if you'd like to be involved in that, please contact us at the church office, 733-3966. Um, it is a great day and a great time to be a part of Grace Community Church. God bless you and make it a great day. Hi, men of GCC. Hey, I got to tell you, our golf tournament was fantastic. A lot of fun, men getting together, shooting golf. We might not have shot the best scores, so some did. We had a great time. And our next event is going to be the Mad Dash Tournament on July 9th. More information coming soon about that. Ladies, I got to tell you about what's happening on Mother's Day. We are going to have nitro bike back. We're going to have coffee. We're going to have pastries because, ladies, you're important. Moms are important. Grandmas are important. Daughters, you're important. We're going to have a great feast that day. So come prepared to eat, come prepared to drink, and uh, I'll see you guys on Sunday. Hi, ladies. Well, I wanted to remind you that we are going to kick off Bible study next Thursday, the 22nd at 9 a.m. at the North Campus. It will be a six-week class. We'd love to have you join. If you are still wanting to join via Zoom, just send me your email and I'll make sure to get that invite to you. Also, remember, the Women's Luncheon is coming May 8th. I would love to have you join us. Continue to call in. Thank you for those that have registered. If you register online and then you find that you can't add the friends that you want, just go ahead and email me or call the front office and we'll get you all set up. So hope you're having a great day. See you soon. Hey everybody, hope everything's going great this week. It is so good to get an opportunity to stare into this camera and talk to you about a few very important things. One is our Guatemala team. We need help. If you can give to Guatemala team, that would be great. You can contact me for information on how to make that happen. But if you can go with us to Guatemala, that's even better. We are looking for more team members. We need to take at least 10 and we can take up to 20. And so we've got some work to do in a very short amount of time. And we need your help to not only raise funds, but to fill this team. So if you know of somebody who would want to go or you want to go yourself, get in touch with me. You could do that by looking up my email address on the website. Also, uh, as far as missions goes, we have a couple of important dates that we wanna get on your calendar. September 19th will be our Family Missions Sunday. And we want you to be involved as much as possible. So put that on your calendar and be prepared for more information to come about that as we get closer to the fall. Darren and Kathy Dolson are going to be traveling through California in July. And July 18th, we will host a dinner for them in the afternoon. It's a Sunday afternoon, and we want anybody who would like to interact with them to join us for a meal and a time of encouragement. While we encourage them, they will also encourage us. Those are the things I have for you. I hope you're having a fantastic week, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Hi, church. Hey, I wanted to let you know about something pretty exciting that we're doing coming up. I don't know if you remember last year we did this, um, but we did something that we called Adopt a Senior. Um, if you remember last year, we had um, uh, flyers out that had that listed all of the seniors in our, our high school ministry and some of the things they like and what's going on in their life. And, um, and folks from our church took one of those and um, put little gift baskets together and then hand delivered those to, uh, to all the seniors. And we did that kind of as a way to um, make up for their their lost senior year. Well, that's basically happened again to our seniors of 2021. Um, pretty much everything that a typical senior gets to experience, none of these seniors have gotten to experience. And so uh, we want to do this as a way to bless our seniors. And so our seniors have filled out uh, these forms. And starting on Sunday, May 2nd, uh, at church, you can pick up one of those forms and it'll have the it'll list a senior that you would like to adopt. 
and you can, uh, like I said, put a gift basket together and some treats and gift cards, write them a personal note, whatever you want to do, and then you can hand deliver that to, uh, to, that, ser or to that senior sometime in May. So that's gonna start on Sunday, May 2nd, and that will be available here at the church office as well uh, after that, and you can um, take those and, and bless a senior from our church. So thank you uh, in advance for doing that. That'll be a great blessing to those wonderful students. God bless you, church. Hey, church family. Well, we had a great all-nighter, an amazing time, and uh, we went to Roller Town. We played Kanjabi Can Can, which is this all these trash cans, and students have these little ropes, and they go around and try to hit each other into trash cans. Super fun. We played dodgeball. We had uh, soda and snacks. It was an amazing time, even though we didn't really get much sleep. So I hope you enjoyed your sleep this weekend, but it was totally, totally worth it. And uh, also coming up for junior high uh, in the summer, Hume Lake, it's looking really, really good that we could have camp this summer. So please pray that that in fact does happen. So for junior high, if you have an upcoming student or a current seventh grade student, uh, it, the dates for it is July 4th through the 10th. And we're gonna start signups on June 6th. That's promotion Sunday and so if you are planning out your summer calendar and you have a sixth grader and a seventh grader right now, plan for July 4th through the 10th for Hume Lake Summer Camp right now. It's looking really, really good. More details to come, but pray that we do have an amazing summer and camp can happen at Hume Lake. Hey everyone, I am excited for what's going on in children's ministry these days. We are trying to open up our nursery and our twos and threes, but in order to do that, we need volunteers. So if you're interested in serving in the nursery or the twos and threes area, please connect with me. You can call me at the office or email me, um, and we, or you can stop and see me on Sunday. I'll get you connected that way. And just a reminder, we have Awana events coming up. We have our Awana Grand Prix on May 5th, and the day before is our check-in. And we're also going to do a a WANA store night. So be on the lookout for information about that. That's going to be the day before, so May 4th. And May 12th, we're going to do our award night for our WANA kids. And we're going to do that out on the patio in front of the worship center. So bring your lawn chair, bring your family. We're going to enjoy some ice cream after we give the awards out. So it'll just be a great time of fellowship, and we hope you guys have a great week. Hey, Grace Community Church. Uh, I don't have anything specific to say about our worship ministry this week, but I just want to encourage us to be thinking and praying about our South Campus. Uh, that is where our offices are. That is where we are right now. And it is the future home of Grace Community Churches where the body of believers will gather and where new people will come to hear the word of the Lord for the first time. So just be praying over it and be expectant of God doing something big and new here.